Hello guys, this is MC the Mincha Surgeon here, real life surgeon with a passion for all things Warhammer. Before understanding it, I thought color theory was just a bunch of hot air. But have you ever had a sudden discombobulating question like what color scheme should my new army have or what color power source should my sergeant be using? Then actually understanding these five rules will save your day and a lot of heartache. Guys, if you found out about something that you didn't already know, maybe give us a like or even subscribe. So now let's put some meaning to that boring old color wheel. Stay till the end to see the head-to-head -head comparison of each theory. Let's go. Right, so color theory is all about what color works well with each other. This is Games Workshop's color wheel with six distinct segments, but with so many shades of color, I tend to digress away from it and use an online color wheel to help me choose my color schemes. This color wheel I found on sessions.edu generates a color combination after you select your base color of choice. A few things to bear in mind. Black and white by themselves do not affect the complementary nature of colors you pick, so feel free to go however bright or dark you need to. So I'm going to go through five types of combinations today. These are complementary, monochromatic, analogous, triadic, and split complementary. I'll be demonstrating all five of these on five different Necron Warriors for your viewing pleasure. First and foremost, this is not a painting tutorial, so I won't be elaborating on how I achieved the effects I did. For preparation, I just primed the models with lead belcher and layered on ultramarine blue to the armored areas, leaving the bone silver. Then I gave the model an overall wash of a silicanum gray. Then using black templar, I painted over the entirety of the gauze flare casing, and this is followed by a quick dry brush of iron hand steel to give the weapon a worn appearance. I use Corex White to coat over all the areas that I intend to give an, an energy glow, and I'll be using blue as a base color to derive the combinations. And with that out of the way, let's get to our first combination. First and probably simplest type of color combination to do is known as complementary colors. This in essence is picking a color on the direct opposite side of the color wheel. So for this example, I'll be using Griffhound Orange to complement the Ultramarine Blue. Using complementary colors will give you one warm color with one cold color to create a vibrant yet harmonious color scheme. Remember not to have either colors too bright since it can be quite overpowering to the eyes. In this example, a toned down ultramarine blue would go quite well with the bright Griffhound orange. But remember to pick just one of these colors to be your main color and use a second one as an accent. The next color combination we're going to try are monochromatic colors. This is basically choosing a color and then using different shades of it to create a harmonious end product. In this example, I'll be using Talisar Blue for all the areas where energy is emitted. Using monochromatic colors help emphasize the nature of the base color. In this case, using Talisar Blue on Ultramarine Blue gives a very cold and frosty tone to it. And as you can imagine, if I'm using an orange and red tone here, the tone will be for one that's very much warmer. So this color scheme is very useful if there's a theme that you really want to hammer home. And to avoid these colors becoming too bland, remember you can go up and down the brightness scale to bring contrast to what can be a very boring color scheme. The third color combination we're going to talk about are analogous colors. This color scheme uses colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, and will usually match well to create a unified by slightly varied end result. For the analogous Necron Warrior, I'll be using Sotek Green to coat over the carapace and the central ridge of the skull of the Necron Warrior. After that, I'll be using Mangos Purple to layer on the energy effects. Analogous colors give a more unified and more regal tone than monochromatics will, while still emphasizing the nature of the base color. In fact, this is one of the most common color combinations seen in nature, so if you're painting an organic mini like a Lizardman or Beast of Chaos, this should be your go-to. This might actually be my favorite so far. Which combination do you like? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. The fourth color combination is a classic triadic use of three complementary colors. Now, this scheme uses colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel, and they are usually quite vibrant no matter how dark or bright they are. And guess what? Games Workshop uses this a lot. Instead of yellow, I'll be using Retributor Armor for the carapace and skull of the model. This is because golds are basically just metallic versions of yellow and can complement a Necron Warrior very well. I'll be glazing the energy effects of the model with Blood Angels Red, but take care to only let one color be a theme, or you can end up with a result that's really harsh on the eyes. The last color combination is one that I feel is a little hard to pull off and take some planning. Split complementary is basically a variation of complementary color schemes, which gets an additional color to bring more visual contrast. Similar to the last example, I'll be using Retributor Armor to replace yellow on the palette. Then I'll be using Griffhound Orange to glaze over the energy emitting parts of the Necron Warrior. As you can see, the orange really helps break up the harsh contrast formed by the Retributor Armor and the Ultramarine Blue. 
A few things to bear in mind. Remember to decide what your base color is since the other colors will be working around it. Feel free to use metallics to replace colors such as yellow and orange to give it a more visual variation. And remember, in the end of the day, these rules are just guidelines. Because end of the day, if the model you like is on the table, then you've done it right. Guys, if you've learned a thing or two in this video that you didn't already know, maybe drop us a like or even subscribe. Is there a color scheme that you think I missed or you're pretty fond of? Let me know in the comment section below and maybe I can try it out in my next video. Guys, this is MC the Miniature Surgeon, signing out.